were told by both uh, the fire chief and some neighbors here that she couldn't get out. She had mobility issues. Her son, we're told, was at home with her when it happened, but he was unable to help her get out. Uh, these flames just raged through this home, and she was ultimately pronounced uh, dead on the scene by firefighters who got here pretty quickly but just weren't able to save her life. Uh, here, listen now to what the fire chief, Daryl Jones, had to say. I understand that she did have some difficulty moving. That was what the neighbors said, but I can't confirm that. And the cause of the fire is under investigation. And subsequent to that interview with the chief, we did speak with several neighbors who uh, essentially confirmed what the chief said there, that this uh, woman sadly had trouble getting out of uh, the home, had trouble moving around, and that's uh, part of what uh, led this causes to be a deadly fire. Now, real quick here, we have a, a neighbor who lives next door, Ryan Poole. And Ryan, you said you were you were home when this happened, and it basically woke you up. And, and what was going through your mind? What did you hear? I heard a lot of banging, uh, cracking. I walked out. I uh, walked over to my living room curtain. I, I saw a bunch of flames. I was like, oh my God, this house is, is gone. The house was gone. So a very sad situation. And uh, this, this uh, woman leaves behind her son who did live with her. And uh, we're told he might be getting some help from the Red Cross.